Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lainey of Design by Lainey and I'm an educator for stationary designers and creative entrepreneurs. So today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about HoneyBook. You've seen a lot of my videos um, are on Dubstato. I have a full course on this on Skillshare that I'll link for you below. But HoneyBook is a different client management system that you can use. And the reason I'm really talking about HoneyBook right now is because they have a promo right now until August 12th of 2020 where you can get HoneyBook for $1 a month for your first eight months. So this is insane. <laughs> and even if you're finding it after August 12th, we have a 50% off code that you can use, both of which are linked below in the description. So super excited about this. I'm gonna be showing you the brochure feature, which is how I would show stationary proofs in HoneyBook. So I had already showed you a video that I'll link in the corner of my proofing system in Dubsado shows all the different pieces and then they have an area where they have to sign off and my little address template they can download lots of cool stuff here so that's what that looks like in dubsado i have a, that video that you can watch that shows you how to do it so how would you go about doing that in honeybook so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to tools and actually go to library you can only upload when you get into the brochure feature you can only upload one photo at a time so we're going to go ahead and upload all of our photos because you can do that here and it's a lot faster to do it all at once. So we'll just wait for these little babies to upload. So it's gonna process them and then we should be all good to go. Okay, so now we have all of those in our library, which is important. So we'll head back up to tools and we'll go to templates. We'll go to brochures and I had started creating this so it won't take as long to show you what I'm doing. It's proof form. And what I've done here is just add the welcome, same text that I used over on Dubsado and our mock-up here. I love the mock-up because this shows you how all the pieces are gonna look together, how the sizes compare and how the layout of colors is across the suite so you can make sure you have the right combination of all the different elements. All right, so what we have is different sections here, which I actually really like. And as a client, when you get this, you can scroll through or you can click different sections and go towards them. And it just gives you a little bit of a table of contents, kind of what to expect on this proof. And I love that about HoneyBook. So we've got a welcome section, which has the mock-up, individual proofs, feedback, and then signature T's and C's. So our welcome is just welcome and mock-up, nothing fancy. And then we head over to individual proofs and we've just got this intro here. I copied all of this from Dubsado, but this is my real text that I always use. And then we'll include in this whole section, you can see how there's a little bit of separation here, which I like. So we'll include in this section, all of the larger proofs. So we've got main invitation, all the information that is about that. And then we'll just kind of keep adding blocks for the top part, I added this full width text. And then for the bottom, I did this cover image. And I'm just gonna copy and paste my text from dubs because it's very common text that I use a lot. And I like how that's laid out. And then we'll choose our image, click library. And all those things that we uploaded are already there. So as you'll see right here, you can only upload one image at a time. If I try to select multiple, it doesn't let me. So that's why we went ahead and did that. So they're all in our library. And now we need our details card, which is this little baby. And the cover images all kind of go to this natural state, but you can use these to bring it down to show the whole proof. Once you've created one template, filling in the new pictures will not be too difficult. All right, so now we have their invitation and their details card. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing for you because it would just, take 26 years so <laughs> we'll go through you know you may want to add another section in here that is for like envelopes just because those are kind of slightly different so we'll click that section full with text and what i include there is typically just all of their kind of production details so i might i might actually rename that section to production details And then in the same section, I would add the envelope images. There we go. 
So now we have all of the proofs. I mean, all the ones I'm loading for you guys on this tutorial. And then we will go into this feedback form, which is where you'll use questions. So I love this. You have two fields, short answer, long text, drop down, single choice, multiple choice, and a date picker. So the brochure feature could really be used. Um, I mean, it's called a brochure. You can definitely use it to sell your services. You can also actually add different line items as an invoice here so you can go ahead and see them. But since we're just doing kind of a feedback form here, what I'm going to do is add a long text with a single choice and move single choice up here. And the questions that I ask, there's three of them. So it's basically our wording, text, times, location, spellings, etc., correct and ready to print. So that's all the like text and they say yes, or they say, no, I have changes. Enter them below and then enter changes for text. And then we'll repeat that three times. So basically they have to ask that same question about design and layout and then colors, papers, details, etc. So a lot of times people just put all of their revisions in one box, which is totally fine. But this just allows me to say, you know, I reminded you to check over all the text. I reminded you to check over the design and layout. I reminded you to check over colors and papers and all of that. Um, and then I'm going to ask for their shipping address again as well, just because it's a lot easier. Okay. And you can do settings here. So is required, or you can change that type if you need to. So go ahead and require that. I would require all of these. And then the part that's most different from Dubsado is that technically you're not getting a signature on this. So in Dubsado, I use a subcontract form, which basically means that they have a signature line here, first name, last name, date, etc. So what I would just do here is use that same text and use it as a make sure I'm in the right section. I would go short text and I would put this here and then I would probably change this wording a little bit just to say that they need to, you know, type their name here. So type your name here as a signature. And because this one isn't technically a signature box, I'd probably add a couple more things a checkbox to make sure they agree to all the terms and conditions. Um, do you agree to terms and conditions as outlined above? Something like that. Okay, so I had outlined some things up here in terms and conditions, just basically saying like, no reprints, you're signing off officially here. Misspellings aren't my fault, etc. So I just put some more con terms and conditions there just so it's a little bit more obvious. So what I found kind of works best for this, do you agree to terms and conditions as outlined above is actually a drop down that's got an agree and a blank box. No one's gonna click this blank box. So they'll select that they agree. And then they sign here with their signature and you could also add maybe a date here that'll make it more official. Okay, so some things I like about this is that there's a lot of different options. Um, I love the idea of this like text on image. I think there's cool ways you could use this or the left aligned where you have text and an image together. I like the idea that you could add services here. Um, this could be used for a cool little proposal that you could send over people to people that's interactive. And I like all the different question options that you have in a proof. We're not going to use too many of those. Um, I also like that there are sections so that it gives you a little bit of a table of contents, what to expect here. 
Um, some things I like a little bit more about Dubsado is just that this is an official signature here. And I'm currently just more familiar with the Dubsado interface, which is not a reason to really choose it, but is something that makes me feel more comfortable and I like that a little bit more. So, so definitely gonna keep playing with HoneyBook a little bit more. I also have a video that I'll link in the corner for you about invoicing with HoneyBook, which is actually my favorite feature of HoneyBook and I think it's way better than the Dubsado feature. So take a look at that and if you're interested, um, make sure you start a free trial and before August 12th, if you book an account, you can get that for a dollar a month for eight months, which is just incredible, such a great deal. So I hope you'll all take advantage of that. Let me know what other questions you have about HoneyBook. I'll have some more videos coming out showing Dubsado versus HoneyBook in the future, but I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and comment to let me know what you thought of this video and so that you don't miss out on all of our future ones. Thanks everyone.